Good morning, Galaxy of Heroes. Stupid Mike here. Uh, yeah, so... Um, I don't even know his name. Something Brood. Oh, Brood Alpha. There you go. Clues above. G in Ocean, Brood Alpha. G-B-A. So, um, this is a dual part video. Um, starting off is the major shard chase um, just showing you what the drop rate looks like um, it's not too bad but considering that it's a character that effectively you can farm immediately because he's on cantina nodes um, yeah the reason obviously for me rushing this one is because the event goes live in 11 hours time I believe and I wanted to you know have him ready because as already announced we start at six star so yeah and <laughs> yeah so that's where we got to which meant that he can unlock so here is the unlocking and activation of said GBA and now it's lots of clicking once I take him up to level 85 um, yeah and now this is the boring bit he says of just clicking the buttons and there's a lot of buttons to click. I should have sped this section up actually, but hey, I suppose, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I suppose. I don't bother looking at the stats actually until the very end, sorry, but the basic stats are there. You've already got him in your roster, in your inventory, either activated or not. Um, the pack I liked it um, the fact that we get one of those cryotech 50 cryotech bits as well just softens the blow a bit I suppose yeah it's not, you know, punch in the face before they jab you in the arm or whatever or reset your broken bone yeah, I don't know. We can go through lots of analogies on <laughs> all of this. But, yeah, so we're slowly trundling through. Um, already been asked about the, the gearing and so on. It doesn't seem to be too bad. I've, uh, I've been hanging on to my gear. I keep looking to pull the trigger and and max out my remain well max out g12 my remaining two clone troopers who aren't which is echo and cody but with this guy looming i thought you know what i'm just going to hang on to as many green glowy crosses as possible until he's in game see what he's about and then go on from there but look we've got mark fours are okay we've got a couple of mark five arachid joy callers but they don't seem to be end game wise they don't seem to be too much of an issue now um those mark six hair dryers i've got shed loads of them does require a few stun guns this guy but then you know whatever you're gonna have to put quite a bit of Get in, but look, these Mark Fours. I'm, I'm liking these Mark Fours. Roll along with them. So I can't see because it's behind the gearing thing on here. Um, what gear level we are already up to? Um, another Mark Five droid caller, stun gun. So yeah, I stun gun. So yeah, those Mark Six Chewabs. I've got shed loads of those. So where are we now then? Still can't, all right, so now we're up to gear 11. So a Mark V med pack, uh, one golden ball, 
Only one golden ball. Mark eight tag. That's right, so these are the bad ones. The two Mark Six stun guns. And another Mark Six thermal. Um, so now do the promotion up to six. And it's like, well, I got a fair way into seventh star. So let's take him to six. How many more shards do we need? And we need 34. So one more pack. Bing, that gives us another 17. So now we need 17, I believe. And yeah, we need 17. And I, this is where I opt to just burn through all my cantina energy for the day. Um, and AI decides to be a dick at the end, but hey, yeah. I could have gone back in and just done one more of those packs, but do a bit of farming at least. Show you the drop rates. Drop rate isn't, well, it looks okay. And actually, I believe 94 of 100. Need some more energy. 97 of 100. Nothing, dick move. All right. Thank you very much. Give me an Omega because of the dick move. Need two more. Can we get two on two? No, we can only go to one. So, um, so we do, yeah. I do do another refresh. I do do. And there we go. So, <laughs> one shard for the shop. Uh, yes. Thank you for pointing out on Shaq, but I shouldn't. I should have gone for the cheaper pack over the dearer one. Uh, I don't think this is. It's an option for G and Ocean Brood Alpha. So, anyway, that's done. I needed that. It's like you're not going to go all this way and then not get one piece of kit to enable me to take him to gear 12. Sorry, just having a bit of coffee, so. Bing bong, gear 12. And then um, this is just the, the clicky clicky. Okay, so spoiler alert here. I've only got one Zeta at the moment. I haven't deployed it. I'm thinking out of the two, <coughs> the uh, call the brute in from the get go, and yeah, because with his kit, you're starting with an under uh, an undermanned start, uh, squad. So I'm just wondering if we get to run geos in in GAC, does this count? as an undersized squad because you would start the battle with four um and if you win would it count as an undersized squad or not interesting unfortunately won't be able to find out because of course he dropped after the uh this this week's gag was locked so we can't oh, i can't do anything about that it won't be until the next time round to see how that works but um yeah we're just plodding on through um this is where i've obviously just having a look um both of them look really good um they do both look really good and um i can assure you that once i have the second zeta it will be going on. I can also assure you at some point today, the one Zeta I do have will be going on. Um, as I say, I think it will be the, uh, what was that say? Queen something or other? That's the one that, that says, 
that you start with calling him in and have him taunting slap on that Omega there. So he's got a 100% counter chance. Um, yeah. And we bang on the two green pluses. You yeah, know, it's like in for a penny. Yeah. So I think now I've just got to mod him. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. So we need three Armour Tech Furnace pieces effectively because third one is for the Gear 13 finisher. Um, yeah, just have a butcher's at that. To the mods, please. Let's go over to the mods. Okay, let's have a look at his stats first of all. So 140 base speed before we pop a single mod on. Um, I'm just doing through unassigned at the moment. And so I'm going to go speed. And then I have a quick look at what my options are. And um, I've gone four um, just because I could see that I had reasonable speeds with health and also reasonable speed with um, offence. I've opted to go for that for the moment. That quite probably will change, but for now it'll do. Let's just slap the old speedy weedy on there. Boom. So up to 227. Let's confirm that. So not a huge speed increase there. But even so, he's still my quickest geo, I believe. Uh, yeah, I've been playing around with that. So this is literally just me needing, wanting, whatever, to see this brute. And then getting angsty. Would it allow me? I, I couldn't remember whether it had any issues, but of course it doesn't. You can run a single tune. Actually, I might even do that. Run Malak through Galactic War, see how far he can get on his own. Um, so now it's just a case of going against loads of squishy um, GW opponents until I, fail, I find one squad that is not too bad, squishy wise, and will enable me to call in the brute. There is the brute. So all I've got to do now is work out how I can do a positioning where we can see him clearer. Because uh, he's right at the end and he's hidden behind... Who's that, a soldier? Don't know. But saying that, we've got GOTB later on today. Um, so hopefully should be able to, um, to showcase him a bit more than... Got to work out which way around. I suppose if I leave second spot, uh, you can't. Actually, yeah, you can. I can just throw in anything other for the second spot and then remove them before we start, and then that should put him next to, <coughs> or put the brute <coughs> in the spot next to um, Geon Ocean Brood Alpha GBA. GBH on the pocket, GBA in game. And yeah, bit of a. Actually, it's probably not a waste of a turn because they reset anyway, don't they? Per thing. So, um, we're still plodding along. I can't remember how many of these I do. I do a few um, just to see. But yeah, um, synergy is looking good. Um, this is all, you know. This is all non-conclusive, obviously, because uh, I've slapped him straight in, or I've slapped them straight into a Galactic War, and Galactic War, let's face it, at present, is no 
challenge. Yeah, the only challenges really are if if you try completing it with um, lower geared star tunes. Uh, uh, otherwise, it's, it's basically you, know, you can play it, or you can just sim the twelve nodes and be done. Um, obviously, here I just want to see this brute in action, um, and I'm struggling to find squads that are hard enough to allow my alpha. Oh yeah, see, look, I go in and I didn't even realise I had Revan in there to start with and it's like oh hang on a sec let's get rid yes let's just drop him out and go back in with the empty spot so that's something that's probably worth noting that um that, <laughs> that if it does automatically just populate um yeah be careful because if it's a, a ga or a tw that you're doing it or you're using him with um you might go in there with five men rather than the four and therefore not have the empty spot, which enables us to call in, bang, bang, bash the shield, bash the enemy, boom. Now, this is where I just decided to slow the game speed down a bit just to see what they're doing because you know at four speed you don't really get to see much it's like they all move the opponent's gone and that's not just for these i mean obviously not obviously but this is gw as i say so they're all squishies that we're going against but um i just wanted to see how how well they work together and they look like they work pretty well together rid of Vader um, yeah spy uh, I do have I did a little brief video last night uh, which I haven't uploaded yet which just covers the um, the putting back everything that that we were refunded so my spy was Omega um, so that was quite nice. Put it all back. I was looking, wondering why my Omegas look to be not low. I've got quite a few Omegas. Um, and it was only after I finished recording that I realised that I hadn't actually collected the uh, the refund from CG for the fact that they had changed the ability enough to warrant a refund. So unless Cody gets a major change in his, we ain't getting that Zeta back. I don't think we'll be getting that Zeta back. Saying so that, it could prove useful. So, come on, where are we? I think... I think this might be the last battle. I didn't go through the entire run. I just needed to see the new shiny. Oh! bash the shield, bring in the brute and kick Boba's ass. Um, do like that with the sun fact. Yeah. Sun fact, with, it, it can be a fun tune to use. So basically here, I was just running it. Um, I wanted to allow Maul to do the days. I just wanted to see how well they responded to buffs and of course now we've also got um, Vader back and yeah intentionally leaving Daka till last just so that she could res a few tunes and give them a bit of a battle so nobody's days we've just got all got the speed down now um, get rid of Jedi Consular oh now we've got the days. Get rid of Mo uh, Vader, even. Not more. There's more. 
course, interesting if you, you know, just clock, see who isn't dazed. And here, only one tune wasn't dazed, GBA himself. So uh, that meant that I knew that he was gonna be the assist because nobody else could. So this time round, gonna do it again. Is this the cleanse this time? Is it a cleanse? No, it's not a cleanse. Boom, takes the Vader here. Twats him for 14K. Um, bash the shield, cleanse everyone, multiple attack. Good night, Daka. I believe that is the end of my run. Thank you for watching.